In this video, we are going to take a look at Stamp Manage USA, and this video is going to serve, I guess, as a quick start guide for people who are new to the program. Uh, so what you see now is the main screen. If you have downloaded the, the demo version, you're going to have the one sample record. If you purchased the program and did not use the demo previously, uh, you're going to see an empty screen. Now this main screen is a, a view of the stamps you have inventory, the stamps you have uh, told stamp manage that you own basically uh, so unless you own this one as uh, uh, Scott number 73 uh, you can safely delete it if you're using the dem demo version uh, to do that you can click on the stamp and then click on the delete button on the toolbar or you can also uh, right mouse click and just and just like delete and you'll see here in the menu that pops up when you write when you right mouse click you'll also have a lot of other options show such as showing uh, showing this stamp um, on eBay or hip stamp and uh, you can also run reports and properties would um, properties is just going to show the properties of the stamp and, and allow you to change for example let's say you want to change the quantity and the condition or things like that so uh, okay so let me go ahead and delete it I'll right mouse click select delete uh, and now I have no stamps in my inventory so let's uh, let's add a stamp I click on the add stamp button up there and on the, at the lower right you see a list of all the countries that ship with stamp manage usa you'll see the united states united nations and some united states possessions such as uh, guam and you have hawaii here as well so let me add a stamp from the united states so basically what i'm doing is i'm just selecting the selected the united states if i select the united states it's going to show all the stamps from the United States. If I select a subcategory, for example, airmail, it's only going to show airmail stamps from the United States. So let's say I have Scott number C2. Um, I select C2 and then I can select the condition if I want to. Uh, if I know the condition and uh, once I've done that, uh, I have the option of specifying other uh, factors pertaining to the condition of the stamp under the additional info tab. I can leave comments, uh, give purchasing information. If I have pictures of the stamp, you can add up to four images for each stamp as well. You can copy and paste them from the clipboard or just the import here will allow you to select an image file. Uh, but in this, uh, for this video, I'm just going to keep it simple. So I've got Scott number C2, mint very fine condition. Click OK, and there you go. The first stamp has uh, been placed in inventory. Now most people have many stamps so in stamp manage you can easily add many stamps so i've been, gone back in the add stamp dialog and what you can do is you can select a stamp then condition and then click the apply button and what, and what this will do is it will add the stamp but keep you within the add stamp dialog so you can continue to add more stamps so let's say i've got c4 mint fine click apply and uh, so that's one way of adding multiple stamps. Another way would be to, uh, let's say I've got number C7 uh, and C8. I, I have C8 selected. What I can do is hold down the control key and select C7. And so both these stamps will be entered. And let's say, for example, I've got number C10 and C10A as well. I just hold down the, keep the control key down and select the, the varieties that I own. So I've uh, selected these four stamps here. Now when I hit OK, all four will be entered into the program. So after I've entered my collection or part of my collection, I may want to run a report. And Stamp Manage has some very nice reporting features. Uh, so for example, um, if I just wanted to run a report on airmail stamps, I could just right mouse click again on the airmail section and select one of the reports here. If I want to run a report on my entire collection or all the stamps I've entered, I can choose it from, from under the reports menu. So let's say, for example, I have reports, all stamps owned by with total value. Let me just run this as, as an example. So I select that. And now this is important. Uh, you're, you're going to see this print options dialog. And some people get confused because they think you have to immediately print the report. And uh, you see printer here. But what you can do is just click on this down arrow and you get all the exporting options. And uh, you also have a preview, which is 
always handy before you printing a report. Printing a report is basically the final step. If you want to see what it's going to look like, you just preview, click start, and it's going to show you what the report looks like. We have some backup features as well. So under the file menu, you can backup database, and this allows you to backup stamp manage to um, uh, your hard drive, or you could also uh, back it up to a USB drive. And um, they've also got some really nice uh, external hard drives, which are quite small now, which are coming down in price. You may want to take a look at those uh, as well. We also have an internet backup file backup data to internet and you can restore the data from the internet backup. Um, by the way, Stamp Manage, when you buy a license, uh, your license code is good for two computers. So if you have a desktop and a laptop, you can use the program on, both, on two computers. Uh, anyway, uh, so you can backup data to internet and obviously this is why very valuable in case, God forbid, your computer and US, all your equipment gets stolen or there's a natural disaster or whatever. It's going to store uh, your data on in a secure location on the internet. So this is a basic summary of how to get started using the program. Take a look at our other YouTube videos and you can subscribe to our channel. Under the help menu, you're going to have, um, if you want to look at the uh, uh, stamp manage videos, you'll see our stamp manage YouTube page, which has many videos related to how to use the program. Um, okay. Thank you for watching. Take care and goodbye.